Hey guys, Bing here. So first I want to apologize. I forgot to answer a question about a project uh, like this one. So it, it looks like a, a, a hill, a green or with all the grass, trees on top, and with opening into this hill, and also with some stairs maybe. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, opening or a void into the topography okay so so actually um uh, i'm not going to use topography because it's not um you won't you won't be able to cut a horizontal void into topography so we are going to use something different okay so let's start so first create a project okay so now first I'm going to show go to site plan so and create a top surface. Okay, so first place some points. So I'm going to place a few points at zero level and maybe some points at three meter. Okay, and some point maybe at uh, a meter. Yeah. So now finish it, and we will see this is a top surface. Okay, so now I'm going to create some wall WA and a box here. So this will be, uh, maybe hang on, let me change the height of the, these walls. I'll change it to four meter. So now half of the half of this uh, room is outside, and half is under the top surface. So what I'm going to do is what I need is uh, I need a void cut cut cutting into this top surface. Okay, but with the uh, topography we, we won't be able to cut a void like that. So let me show you. So usually what we can do the the the, the most uh, straightforward way um, to do it is uh, using building pad. So if I create a building pad, pad like this to match the wall and finish so you will see it will cut a vertical so you won't be able to have this bit dirt uh, above your roof okay so see so now uh, what i'm going to show you is the um, we are going to use something different to create this top surface okay so you will have a few different options so first let me just uh, delete uh, delete this building pad and i'll show you so you have a few different options so first you can use model in place okay you can create an uh, extrusion or sweep or anything you like as a, a element and then cut the void so and also you can you, you can also use roof or Floor. So today I'm going to use floor. Okay, so let's do it. Floor, and first I'm going to edit cre and create a floor, different floor type. So I'll I'll make it 10 meter, 10 meter thick. Okay, so 10 meter. Change this to 10 meter. And also you can change the material to earth. So this is the default uh, material for the the topography and okay and i think hang on, let me just have a look so maybe let me try this one okay so variable yep and okay and okay so now what i'm going to do is go to top view and i'll just roughly uh, draw a shape of this top surface and finish it okay so now edit sub element and I'll just drag this point roughly to match the height of the, and that point. Go this way. So uh, I think it's quite uh, okay. So of course, if your topography is more like um, uh, random or the different uh, slope, you you can you can just add point or add speed line. So I'll show you. So you can add a point anywhere on this floor, and then. Oh, you can add you can add multiple points and then you can 
escape once and they can individually uh, adjust them so it will and try to match the the side okay so once you're done just escape and then that's that's your uh, floor which uh, so and also you will see I think uh, if you pick if you if you pick this one and when you change modify so it will keep the bottom um, flat so if you edit type and uncheck that one let's see what happens okay so okay see maybe I'll just control Z because I like this way so now what I'm going to do is so now we have this uh, floor instead of this topography. I'll just hide I'll select this topography and hide it EH hide it okay so now we are going to work with this floor so now you can um, to cut the hole you can model in place avoid but I'm going to show you uh, another way okay so I'm going to create a family so I'm going to create a generic model family and and I'll build a parametric uh, void okay and let's do it so and also um, I'm, I'm going to do it differently so uh, I'm going to use reference line so I'll show you why I'll tell uh, I'll show you why okay so I'll show you the difference so first draw four reference line okay four reference line and do a dimension so and another dimension so this one I'll create a parameter so I'll call it width and I'll make an instance parameter and also this one I'll create a, a depth instance okay so now go to front view so all the reference uh, lines are here now we need another two reference line so one at the top another one maybe uh, at yeah okay so another dimension from this reference line to this reference line and another parameter I'll call it H for height and okay <coughs> so now let's go to 3d view Okay, so these are all the reference line and now I'm going to create a void and a void extrusion and before I place I'll just pick I'll set um, I'll check oh sorry I'll check my work plan work plans are current currently on reference line that's that's okay I'll, I'll, I'll just use the uh, sorry reference level that's okay actually it doesn't matter too much so now pick lines tab select all these reference line lock finish so now we just need to use a line AL pick this see tab to pick this reference line and then pick this top top of this void lock and also tab oh you don't need to because that's the only thing there and pick the the bottom of this void and lock so now let's have a look so our hi to isolate this void okay so it's easier for us to to see so let me try to so if you change go to family types and change this see good uh, change this one as well yeah so change this one yeah so all good now this is a void which uh, we can adjust in 3D okay so the reason why I use um, why I use reference line instead of reference plan is in 3D view if you use reference line you will see all these handles so you can adjust the shape in 3D view okay if you use reference plan you will be only you will only um, be able to see this handle in floor plan or elevation or uh, section so now we can we can try to uh, so trying to adjust so what we can do we can use a line I think uh, no won't allow me that, that that's fine 
I'll use this one. So try to see, you will see uh, once you parallel uh, align to the wall, you can stop there and also just do here and and where is the wall here so let me change to wf yes and also this one go to here and adjust the height as well so adjust the height to match the top of the wall and and yeah that's that's perfect i think yeah all good so change it back back to shade so now you can use cut floor Oh, looks like we forgot something. Okay, that's fine. Select this void, edit family. So what we need to do is this one, cut with, cut with void when loaded. Okay, so check this one. And also, um, I think I'll leave it for now. Okay, I'll leave it for now. I, I, might, I might come back to, to check this one, but uh, for now, I'll just leave it unchecked. So now, override this family. So let's try again. Cut, floor, void. Okay, so now you will say, if I select the wall, uh, hang on, let me select, select this, and if I use section box, Where's my section box here? Yeah. So if I drag this to here, so you will see now it's a void cutting uh, the the floor, okay, which uh, uh, acts as a topography, okay, and then you can plant some uh, trees. So if you so for example if you move if you move the the wall and you just need to adjust this to match the wall. If you change the level, so for example I'll, I'll lower this wall, okay, and then you can just change the level of just drag this down to match the floor. Uh, it won't allow me, won't let me to align, no, roughly, yep, so, okay, so that's it, um, if you have any question, please let me know, I'll, I'll upload this, uh, file for you, so you can have a look. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.